Hi, I'm Arjun Gopalan and welcome to episode 3 of Neural Structured Learning. In the previous episode, we learned about natural graphs and how they can be used in Neural Structured Learning. While natural graphs are common, there are many machine learning tasks where the input data does not form a natural graph. For instance, if you recall the document classification task from the previous episode, we used citations to form a natural graph. In the absence of citations, we wouldn't have had a graph. Similarly, if we're doing simple image classification or text classification, where the input data contains just raw images or text, then we may not have a natural graph in either case. In this episode, we'll discuss how we can apply neural structured learning to such tasks. So what do we do if we don't have a natural graph to begin with? The title of the video might have given this away, but the main idea is to build or synthesize a graph from the input data. Building a graph can be done in many ways, but in this video, we'll use the notion of similarity between instances to build a graph. In order to define a similarity metric, we need to convert raw instances, whether they are documents, text, or images, to corresponding embeddings or dense representations. We can do this using pre-trained embedding models, such as those on TensorFlow Hub. Once we convert raw instances to their embeddings, we can use a similarity function, such as the cosine similarity, to compare how similar pairs of embeddings are. If the similarity score is greater than a threshold, then we add a corresponding edge in the resulting graph. Repeating this process to cover the entire dataset builds a graph. And once we have a graph, using neural structured learning is straightforward, as we saw in the previous episode. Let's illustrate this workflow for the task of sentiment classification using the IMDB dataset. This dataset contains movie reviews, and the task is to classify them as good or bad. Let's see what the code looks like to build a neural structured learning model for this task. Here again, we use Keras for illustration, but neural structured learning also supports estimators. The first step is to load the IMDB dataset. For simplicity, we use a version of it that is part of Keras. Once that is done, we want to convert the raw text in the movie reviews to embeddings. We use swivel embeddings in this example, but any other embedding model, such as BERT, word to ec or an embedding model of your choice may also be used instead. Once we have created the embeddings, we can build a graph using those embeddings. Neural structured learning provides an API called buildgraph to do so. Notice that it accepts a similarity threshold as one of its arguments. This allows you to control the threshold below which edges are dropped from the resulting graph. In this example, we use a threshold of 0.8. Once we have the graph, we define the features of interest for our model and combine these features with the graph using the Pack Neighbors API in Neural Structured Learning. In this example, we use a maximum of three neighbors to augment our training data. Now that we have the augmented training data, the next step is to create a graph regularized model. This part is similar to what we did in the previous episode. First, we define a base model, which can be any type of Keras model, whether it's a sequential model, a functional API-based model, or a subclass model. It can also have an arbitrary architecture. Then, we define a graph regularization configuration object, which allows you to specify various hyperparameters. In this example, we use three neighbors for graph regularization. Once this configuration object is created, you can wrap the base model with the graph regularization wrapper class. This will create a new graph Keras model whose training loss includes a graph regularization term. What's left is then just compiling training, and evaluating the graph regularized model. This example is also available as a Colab-based tutorial on our website. You can find that linked in the description below. In summary, we looked at how to build a graph regularized model when the input data does not form a natural graph. This technique can be applied to all kinds of input data, such as text, images, and videos. Now, graph building is not the only approach to handle input data that does not form a natural graph. In fact, in the next video, you will learn about another aspect of neural structured learning called adversarial learning, which can be very useful to improve a model's robustness to adversarial attacks. That's it for this video. There's more information in the description below. And before you get to the next video, 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.